today I'm dressed up as Mrs. Incredible from The Incredibles. And today we're actually going to be drawing Forky from Toy Story. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Uh, before we begin, let's make sure we have all of the stuff that we need for drawing today. We have our piece of paper. We have a pencil. We have eraser, pencil sharpener just in case, a black marker for lining, and then our colored pencils. Okay, so first of all, let's make sure we warm up our wrists. Let's take both of our hands and let's do tiny little circles. Make sure those wrists are all nice and warmed up for drawing. And then we're gonna do the other direction. Okay, after we do our wrists, now we need to warm up our shoulders. So we're just gonna do little circles going backwards. Perfect, and roll them forwards. Awesome job, you guys. Okay, let's jump right into it. So we're gonna take our pencil and we're gonna draw a circle towards the top part of our paper. You wanna make sure there's still room on the top this is gonna be Forky's head. Move it up in case you guys can't see. Should look like that. Okay, next step after we've drawn this circle is we're gonna draw a line. It can be slightly curved and it's gonna go down towards the bottom of the page. Make sure it's not reaching towards the total bottom, we want to leave a little bit of space. After we've done that, we're going to go back up to our circle that we've just drawn, and we're going to draw a large circle, like that. And then we're gonna draw a slightly smaller circle. These are gonna be Forky's eyes, since he has like googly eyes. One is slightly larger than the other one. Don't look like that. Next, we're gonna draw his pupils. So inside of the larger circle, we're gonna draw another circle. as well as inside the smaller circle, we're gonna also draw a circle. Just like that. And then one more time inside of each circle, we're gonna draw one more circle. And it's gonna be towards the edge in both sides, like so. Now that we've drawn his eyes, we're gonna start by drawing his hair part to him, I guess, technically he's a fork. So we're gonna draw four little spikes. So starting on the side of this head, we're gonna draw a line that's gonna go up and stop right there. Same thing on the other side. We're going to start on the edge of the circle and we're going to draw a line going up and stop. After we've drawn both lines, we're going to start on the left side and we're going to go down and back up, making kind of a U shape. So we've just created one fork. And we're gonna do the same thing. So going down and back up. And then again, down. And then we're gonna do the last one. Just like that. Should look something like this. So now I've just drawn his cool hair that he has going on, if you could call it hair. After doing that, 
Now we're gonna do his eyebrow that he has. So we're gonna start by drawing a line above his eyes that goes all the way to the other side. And then we're gonna make it thicker by rounding up the edge and connecting the two lines. Like that. After drawing his eyebrow, we're going to do his mouth. So to do the mouth, we're going to start by drawing kind of like an oval, but kind of, it's more maybe like a bean shape, I guess, because it's not really a perfect oval. And it comes around and kind of this like weird oblong shape. That's going to be its mouth. And then inside that, we're going to thicken up that line by drawing the same shape, which is slightly smaller. Like that. Okay, now we've finished up Forky's head. Let's get to the rest of his body. So going back to this line that we drew already, we're going to draw on the other side following down to the bottom. So we're gonna slowly go down. And as you go down, you want it to get a little bit thicker. Just like so. Next, we're gonna draw his feet. But before we draw the feet, he has like Play-Doh that's connecting his feet to his body. So we're gonna draw this kind of weird blobby shape at the bottom of him. So we're gonna kind of go up into his body a little bit and just kind of draw like some wavy lines to make it look blobby. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just get some really cool shapes going on there. After you've drawn that, we're gonna draw his two popsicle stick feet. So starting with the left one, we're going to start by drawing a line out of the putty that we've created. And it's going to curve and connect back to it. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side for the other foot. So starting in towards the putty, draw a straight line, come out, curve it a little bit, and then connect it back into the putty. And now we have this two cute little feet. But he also has one more little detail on his, I believe this would be his left foot, but it's our right foot when we're looking at it. We're gonna be putting a little sticker that's of the rainbow. So to do that, we're going to start by drawing a U, and then we'll draw two little lines coming out from it, like this. And then we're going to connect those two lines together, leaving a thick shape. Okay, now that we've done his head, his body, and his feet, we've got to do his arms. And this is my favorite part. So, to do his arms, we're going to start about halfway up his body, right about here. And we're just going to draw like three kind of random lines. And so for his first hand, we're gonna start 
from his body and those lines that we just drew. And we're going to kind of do a curve line that goes up. And then we're going to make his fingers. So to do his fingers, kind of like how we did his head before, we're just going to go down and back up and down and back up and back like that. But don't connect it to this line because his hands are made out of pipe cleaners. So they don't really connect back together. It should look something like this. After we've done one arm, then we've got to do the other arm. So for the other arm, we're going to kind of give him like a sassy pose. So he's got one hand up and then his other arm's going down a little bit. So we're going to start back at his body. We're going to draw it up. And back down here towards his body. And then draw like a little curve. And then one final touch after we've drawn that arm is we're going to go back down to the feet. And we're just going to draw two lines coming out. And this is going to give Forky a platform to be standing on, so he's not just floating in space. Okay, now to the fun part. We're going to take our marker, or our pen that we have, and we're going to start by lining Forky. First area that we're going to start in will be his eyes. So we're going to take our black liner or marker and we're gonna slowly go around doing a large circle just like so and then we're gonna draw another circle and then one last circle After you've done those three, we're gonna color in this one, not the smallest circle. We wanna make sure that one stays nice and white. His eye should look something like that. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other eye. So we're gonna slowly go around. Nice big circle. We're gonna draw another circle. And then one more. And fill it in. I'm going to use my other marker really quick, just to fill it in a little bit quicker. There we go. Now we got both of his eyes. Next thing we're going to do is his mouth. So we're going to go around those lines that we drew before. Like that. And then one more. Perfect. And then after the mouth, we're going to go up to his eyebrow and do the same thing. After that, now we're going to draw his whole head, the whole outside part. So I'm going to start on the left side and just follow it down.
And then we're gonna go up on the other side. And then we have all those fun little ups and downs of his forked head. Just like that. Now that we've lined his head and his eyes and his face, we're gonna do the rest of his body. So we're gonna go down. And stop right at the putty. And then we're gonna do the other side. And stop again. And then we're gonna do the putty part. And so we're just gonna connect these two lines that we just drew and do the wavy line all the way around. After that, we're gonna draw his two feet. So I'm gonna start with the left one and just follow that line all the way around and back to the putty. And same thing with the right one. Round, connect. And then we have to draw that little rainbow detail. So we're just gonna start by following those lines that we already drew for that. And connect. Also gonna draw that line across on the bottom. And last but not least, Let's do his arms. Draw those three lines on his body. And draw this left arm that goes up, down, to a little curly cue. And then one more time on the other side. All his little fingers. Just like that. Now before we erase, let's make sure that our picture is nice and dry. So we're gonna take our hands and fan it down. We'll go like this. So that there's no smudging when we erase. We don't want any of that. Okay, now we're gonna take our eraser and we're gonna get rid of all of those pencil lines that we don't need anymore. Almost done erasing. And once you're done, we have all these little eraser chunks. We're just gonna wipe them to the side so that they're not in our way when we're coloring. Everybody doing good? So now we have the really fun part, which is the coloring part. Now, Forky is a white fork, so we don't have to worry about coloring him in. But he has these really cool details, and his arms are my favorite part. They're going to be super fun to draw. But first things first, we're going to take a red colored pencil, and we're going to start by drawing his eyebrow that he has on top of his head. So we're just going to fill in that section. should look something like this. A 
Next, after the red, we're gonna do his mouth. So we're gonna take our blue and we're gonna fill in that section. After doing the mouth, Porky has really cute pink cheeks. So we're gonna take a pink pencil. You can also use a red if you don't have a pink one available. We're gonna take the pink pencil and on both sides of his face, we're gonna give him really cute pink cheeks. I'm just gonna kind of shade right underneath. Like that. And same thing on the other side. Just like that. After we've done his face, we're gonna jump down to his feet. So to do the putty, we're gonna take kind of like a light brown beige color and we're gonna shade it all in. This is a super light color, so it's probably kind of hard for you guys to see, but it's slightly darker. <laughs> After we've done the putty, next we're gonna do his feet. So we're gonna take a brown pencil and we're gonna very lightly shade in his feet. And do the right foot. Got both feet shaded. We're gonna do the little rainbow. So we're gonna just use three primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. I'm going to start by taking my yellow and we're going to draw it inside. Just like that. Just one small section. Not the whole thing, but just one little area towards the inside of the rainbow. After that, we're going to take the red. I'm going to go right next to that yellow that we drew. Again, still leaving a little bit of space because we still have one more color. Should look kind of like that. And next we're gonna take the blue and we're coloring right along the red. Like that. And now, once we've done the rainbow, the next part is the arms, and this is really fun. So to make them look like pipe cleaners, we're gonna take our red pencil, and we're gonna start on the inside, right here, of his body, and we're just gonna do a squiggly line that goes across this, and like that, keeping the line in the center should be able to see it a little bit easier as we go along this line. And just kind of a zigzaggy line back and forth. We're just making sure we keep the line in the center as we just kind of swivel all the way down his arm. And 
and you can leave some white space between, kind of makes it look really nice and fuzzy texture. Like that. And then we just have to do the other arm, doing the same thing. It's going back and forth. All the way down the arm into his hand. And now he's got really cool pipe cleaner arms. Really nice and fuzzy. Perfect. And then we're going to do one more thing after we finish doing those arms. But we're going to take our black pen once we're done with the arms and we're going to add some little sparkles to him. I'm going to show you guys two different ways to do sparkles too. So let's start adding some sparkles around him. To do a little like sparkly piece, one way of doing it is draw a line up, a little short line, and then right underneath, make sure you're not connecting it so it kind of looks like that. And then you do the same thing across, just like that. So it looks like a little sparkle. And you can add those all around him using the same technique, drawing two lines and then two lines across. I'm gonna add some more down here, making, him, making them different sizes, at emphasis on different size sparkles. And then I like to draw little tiny circles these kind of add a little sparkly element too. And just like that, you've drawn Flicky. But we can't forget, we always have to sign our work. So down at the bottom of the page or anywhere on the page, we're going to put our name. And I'm gonna draw a little smiley face. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Bye -bye. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Bye. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye.